What's up you guys, Sambo here. Welcome back to finally another City Fix video. We haven't done one in a while. Some of you have been asking and some of you have been asking to see my other cities and their progress. So I thought let's fix up one of my off camera cities. So this one we're doing today is my Gibraltar map, which is a real place. And you might have seen it throughout a lot of tutorial videos. So you can see mm, traffic not so good and um, a lot of different things to fix up. We're not going to fix up all of them. We're just going to fix up some of them and hopefully improve um, the city overall. So if we, these these images that you just saw, those were in peak hour, but here we are now in just normal time. So there's still a little bit of traffic throughout the city, but I choose to not edit everything during peak hour because it's, it becomes really laggy, the game, the computer. So here we are. Um, just to show you guys, this is my Gibraltar map, just as a, a recap. Now, originally how I was designing it, it's very, very wavy, it's wonky, and I really wanted it to be chaotic. And that's exactly how it is. And actually, I didn't expect it to become this dense. It actually just kind of, it just kind of happened. I was originally designing it to be lower density, like in this area over here. But yeah, so we have a lot of this traffic and the roads just can't really handle it. So we need to... We have a lot of stuff to do today. We have a lot of traffic issues. Um, the traffic percentage does fluctuate up and down a lot, mainly because of these guys over here. So since I put in this big port, there's been a lot more traffic. Now, one issue that I have comes from this area through here. And basically, all of the trucks you'll find often in peak hour, they'll line up through here, come down around, and they try to go over here and go over to this little industrial area over here. There's also an airport as well. So we need to actually make sure they have a direct route to get from the cargo ship over to the airport area. And so what they're doing is they're coming down through here, and this is where it's getting all chaotic and it's just not working. So the first thing that I actually want to do is ban trucks through here, which might seem a little bit extreme, but um, if I think, is it that one? Yeah. So let's just ban some trucks, which is that one and that one and this one and this one. Okay. So all the other vehicles can come through, but now that we've banned trucks coming through here, we need to give them another option. So I was starting to see if this could work. So I've put in, obviously this is the main road that goes over to the airport. So we have all of these, this big four way, five way, one, two, three, four way. Um, and we have this highway over here, which goes directly into the, the mountain. So what I'm going to do is actually connect those up and hopefully this will become the new main road for all of the trucks. It's probably not flat. It's actually very, very wonky, but yeah. <laughs> Um, hopefully they will prefer to use that. We might just flatten out the whole area as well. I don't know, do they care about if it's really steep? I don't know, do you guys know? Okay, so that is actually, that one also needs to be flattened down. There we go. So I'm hoping that since I've banned them coming through up here, um, they'll start to go up through the middle, but it might take some time to adjust. Now also, actually I did fix up that one. I wanted to add in an extra turning lane. Um, now what is going on up here? There seems to be an issue coming down, down, down with this part right here. Okay, first of all, I'm going to ban the turns through here because they're blocking a lot of heavy traffic coming through here. Um, these guys, can you guys just go straight ahead, please? Like, come on. There's enough traffic down through here already. And actually, what is going on, on through here? There seems to be an issue. Okay, so that leads back down to over here. So we've got to find where all of the issues are. My, my guess is that it's all down through this area. Okay, so how I've designed this here, it's kind of like a bit of a roundabout, actually. So I think I just need to align everything up a little bit better. And I want these guys to go first and these guys to wait because there's a lot of traffic that comes off the highway from here. Um, this one here, actually, I might make this a one way because we don't want to add in more traffic coming into this little mixture right here. So if I can just get my one way, that one, yep, we'll flip it around that way. Great. Oh, that didn't look good. So that's good. So that eliminates traffic coming from that way. And then, so come around here. Uh, and then, so obviously these guys can go there or there and over here. 
come around here. Du, 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 du. Why is there a weird gap here? Well, we'll put that connection into that lane. There we go. Great, and then we'll also just go like this to get them going through, get them going. Um, these guys can also just get going, get going. And then we go down here, 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 here. Da, 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 da. Okay, so what is going on through here? There seems to be an issue trying to go through here, I think, or... Okay, that was, that was too annoying. I had to reset traffic because it was getting really, really laggy. But let's go back. Yes, I know, I reset traffic. Oh my God, I'm so bad, wow. Okay, so still we have a bit of an issue coming through here. Okay, so I've noticed before I started recording, I noticed there's a lot of traffic coming around through here. So I'm going to add in a direct little slip lane if I can find it. Would you, we'll use this one. Actually, no, we can't use this one. We'll use this one right here. Put this back up because I'm sick of it being underground. Close that. Close, hello. Okay, so we'll just add in a little connection that bypasses the little roundabout area. There we go, just something like that. Just something really easy. So um, the traffic that is going around here, they're not mixing in with the traffic that want, wants to go up there, you know what I mean? So it just makes it a little bit easier. Um, actually, that looks good. I like that. I'm glad I left the space here. Now, over here, why are the, well, that must be why, why is there traffic lights here? Why would there be traffic lights there? That's a bit silly. Okay, so, <laughs> those traffic lights must have been causing a big issue. Hmm. Well, actually, I might update this lane here because we have two lanes. I might update that to, I might update that into a third lane, I think. There we go. I'm feeling a bit rusty. With all this city fixing and explain what I'm doing. Okay, well, in that case, we'll just align this. So we'll have one lane dedicated for them to go straight along here, around, and then straight off onto this little road through here. Um, then we'll also connect this one into right there. Um, that one can go around there. And I mean, that one's already set basically. So they can go good, 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 good. Now, we also had some issues up here, I think. What are these cars? Why are you parked in the street? Like, what are you doing? Who are you? Park Amanda Blake. Excuse me, Amanda. You don't park on the street. You park on the side of the street. I don't know. Ugh, girl. Okay, actually, now, just quickly while I think of it, I want to update the our new mini little highway area. If I can find it. If I go underground... The ground. There we go. I want to update this to a higher speed so then it'll attract them. Nope, I can't do it that way. Okay, it is is it over here somewhere? There it is. So it's currently 50, which isn't very appealing. So we'll put that up to 110, which is kind of unrealistic, but oh well, we'll make them go. And that can go through. So we'll make this a little bit faster than the actual highway is. So, what's the highway? The highway is 130, so that's a little bit too much. We'll put the highway back down to 100, just so it's not as appealing for the trucks. There we go. And then we'll do the same for up here as well. Actually, why is that 70? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. 70 is fine. So, hopefully, all the trucks will come through here and not clog up through this area, which was really, really annoying. I feel like this is a really great way for you guys to see my city up close and personal as well because you're seeing all of the issues. I'm still not confident about this one though because I know in peak hour it's going to be an issue. Hmm. I mean when I first designed this I didn't think I would have so much traffic coming through here so yeah, that's kind of my fault for not really planning for the future. Now, what is going on down through here? No, this is alright. Just a bit of a traffic build up, I think. Are you alright? Ah, these guys keep pulling out in front of them. So we need to just put in a little... Oops, a little stop sign there, just to... Stop them from pulling out and being annoying. Did I do time... Yeah, I did do time traffic lights. Okay, so I think for this one, we need to add in more timing for this traffic going that way. So, actually, let's stop and edit. So, that's that one. Edit that one. Okay, we can... Oh, only seven seconds. Oh, my God, no wonder. Maximum 20, let's just say. So that one. And then... 
We'll leave that as five because it's like a turning one. Okay, let's go. Is that going to be a bit better? Hopefully, because there's actually a lot, of, a lot of traffic that comes along this road because they all come from the cruise ship terminal down here. So they get off the cruise ship, they pull out the car from their pocket, spawn it, and then up they come through here because they're going to go through the downtown area, I guess. Oddly enough, this part right here, this used to be my downtown for this whole city, this these few buildings right here. But then all of that happened down there. Ah, then it got crazy. Okay, is this looking better? Kind of. Maybe. Like, why are you guys pushing in? So rude. Okay, so just by watching this, I can tell we still have a little bit of traffic building up, but the good thing is the traffic on the other ones, so this one, this one, and this one, it, it doesn't really build up too much. So basically what that tells me is we can add in more timing down here. 20 and 30, because by then, the other roads should be built up a little bit more. And um, yeah, hopefully that'll just be a little bit better. So we can probably leave that now and explore. I think up here is okay. Yeah, up here is all right. Good, we have nothing around this side yet. So come back around here. All right. Bit of a traffic jam coming. No, is it? Actually, no, it's not a traffic jam. This is all right down through here. Okay, now this area up here. The problem with this city is I don't use roundabouts on the main road. I only use them for the highway, if you noticed. Maybe you didn't notice, but now you notice. Um, except for this square about. So a lot of the time, if they're on one side, they have to pull out and cut in front of other cars, which isn't really... It just it, it just isn't good. But it's kind of like the only option we have. Are there traffic lights here? It looks like they were waiting. Are there? Okay, there we go. I think there are, but you just can't see them. I wish I could say no right turns or something like that. That would be better. Okay, so for here, I have time traffic lights set up. Um, I don't think this is really working at all. Um, if we just look at it, what, like, why are these... I guess they're waiting because this traffic is already going. What are they doing here? They stop and then they respawn? Oh, this is messy. All right, I think let's just get rid of that. It's not working. I've had it there for a while. I look at it, I think, mm, I'm just gonna demolish that building. Uh, we'll go, no collision, there we go. Those guys can just go, go, go. Bring us back up to the ground and we'll update this other road through here. You know what? I'd rather this be like a pedestrian friendly area than like a really busy area. So we'll go like that. And then this traffic, I don't really want them to turn up through there so we can make them go straight ahead. Um, then we'll update this road through here as well. I just don't know which road I want to use yet. Um, actually, it's not even causing much of an issue now if we look at it. Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave it like that for now then. Because it seems to be working, which is good. Um, I'm f an issue that could, yeah, I, okay. So originally, this used to be a really busy road through here before I expanded the city. This was a major road. So I made all of the offcoming traffic have, they had to turn left, but I'm actually going to downgrade that and allow them to turn right as well, just so they don't have to go down here and mix in with all of that stuff. Now, because of the, the road type, actually, I can just probably change the road type, can't I? And then I can get rid of the, oops, the traffic light. There we go. And get rid of the traffic light. There we go. So hopefully that'll reduce the amount because originally, like for example, if they were coming along here, they had to go down here. And if they wanted to go over here, they had to go down here, go around this roundabout and then go back. And since they would go around this roundabout, they were mixing in with all of the traffic on the main road and all of the other traffic that was just going around through here in general. And it just wasn't good. It was really, really chaotic. So now that this road isn't too busy, I think we can get away with having the traffic crossing over. 
Look at that, they're actually turning and going around. Okay, let's check if our new little highway road connection is working. Look at that. Look at all those vehicles. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. Lower you down. There we go. Good, that's better. Good, 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 good. So hopefully all of those trucks will prefer to go up through there and not want to go down through here as much. Yeah, that's good. That is good, looking good. Okay, why don't we check out this crossing down here. We'll check out the time traffic lights. If I close, excuse me, I don't know why. Oh, this isn't time traffic lights. Okay, well, just by looking at it, you can tell what the priority roads are. So a lot of them, of course, it's a main road. So a lot of them are going straight ahead. Um, we have probably a, a fair amount wanting to go left as well. And some of them wanting to go a, from this lane over to here. So we'll have to cater for that. And then there's also a lot of pedestrians as well. So we need to make sure we cater for those as well. Just while that I'm testing this, I noticed there's people crossing down through here. So I'm actually going to stop them from crossing there and they can go down here and cross with the rest of them. And we'll also allow the cars to go through this intersection right there. So if I just show you guys how I set it up, um, we'll just stop and then start it again. So I gave most of the timing just for the cars going straight ahead and turning left or over there like so. So let that count down. So a lot of them just going straight through, straight through, straight through, except for these ones that want to turn. Then the next one is allowing them to turn and crisscross the lanes. So obviously we can't do that if the car's going straight ahead. Then the next step is just allowing these two lanes basically just go for it, whatever they want. And then since there's not much, tra not much traffic on these two, that one doesn't last long and then I do all the pedestrians for 10 seconds and then it resets. I might also remove the pedestrians from here as well so then they can just go down here and cross together. Good, so hopefully that will fix that up. Um, here will allow them to go straight through. Pedestrians can cross if they really want to be annoying. Um, this one goes straight through as well, good. Okay, so that's good. We're fixing up this, I mean in this circumstance I don't really want to use roundabouts through here because I think it would ruin the look and um, that's why I am uh, you know doing time traffic lights and look at all those people oh my god I love it it's so busy I put in some pedestrian crossings as well just to help so they don't always have to cross the roads and interrupt traffic down here looking okay not too much traffic build up so there's a little bit but as long as it's not too much see that's basically clearing itself out in one go so that's great um, this one's fine this one's fine this used to be so busy through here down here some weird lanes lane crossing going over I don't like it when they change lanes at the last second so we'll stop them from changing lanes here and here but they can change them down here so then by the time they get to the intersection they know exactly where they're going if that makes sense we'll also do it for here as well so they basically are in the correct lane actually we're getting a little bit of a build up through here but you'll notice there's no build up on the other sides so what we will actually do is we'll pause and we'll actually add it on to oops we don't want 3050 seconds so we do want we want 50 seconds there we go that should be enough to help clear out everything down through there. So I'm just gonna let the game run for a few minutes and kind of just see what the next issue is and we'll go from there. Okay, you guys, so unfortunately it just wasn't working. So I actually had to update it with all of these extra lanes. Um, what was happening before, since it's only two lanes on either side, there wasn't enough lanes to cater for for example, all of the cars wanting to go left or go right. And if they, for example, if when there was only two lanes, let's say this one wanted to go left, but they couldn't turn left. So then it would hold up all the all the cars behind. So it's better to, ju to just do it like this and give them more lanes. But I mean, it kind of ruins the look that I was going for here, which is no lines. So you can see down here, there's no lines at all, but yeah, kind of just had to do that, but it actually works really well. 50 seconds for them to go straight ahead, and yeah, it actually, it works really, really good. I guess it's all right. I mean, it's not it's not that bad, it's not that horrible. Okay, so next issue. Um, this area is okay, so this main road is 
okay along here. Um, I guess I'll, I could maybe, no, we'll just leave that. I'm, I'm nitpicking. Um, so over here is actually okay now that I removed the trucks going through here, along here, down here is okay because we removed the trucks. So I think my trick worked where I updated the speed, made this speed higher than the actual highway. So they will prefer to go up through here, then come back out through down here. Um, no idea why all these cars are down here. I, <laughs> I don't know, that's so strange. But I think, I think we're all good. But um, yeah, the reason why I wanted to fix up all of these things now is because I'm just about to expand all the way down here. So we still have all of this space down here to fill in. It's going to be really compact. So obviously adding in more apartments and stuff, there's going to be more people down here as well. So we needed to make sure that this area was all right, especially our two main roads. So our highway, uh, it's just saving, and our main road as well. Currently at 75%, which is okay, I guess for, I mean, I mean, I mean in general 75 is all right. Um, and for a really crazy layout like this, I'm pretty pleased with that. During peak hour, it was going down to like 30 because it would basically come to a complete stop and it just wasn't working. But now I'm noticing this big build up here. Okay, one thing I will just do before I finish the video, um, I'll give the guys who want to turn right, or girls, I will give them a little bit longer to turn. Which one is it? It's this one, yeah. So we'll give them maximum 25 seconds. There we go. And start. Just because a lot of them seem to want to turn right, which is fine. So we just need to make sure we give them more time as well. And look at that, there's really no cars coming down through here. Wow, that is great. And once we, now that we've updated that side, I think that's, I think it's good. Ugh, I love this city. It is so good. Um, down here will clear up once this kind of clears up as well. And that is basically it. So this is our city called Maungar. Um, if you know what that means, you know what it means. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Let me know, what do you think of this city? Do you want to see it, see more of it in the future? Because uh, there's definitely a lot more expansion to go in this city. And I'm more than happy to show you guys and work through any other potential issues we have in the future. Bye guys.